In this video, we're talking about order of operations or PEMDAS. And PEMDAS is just an acronym that we use to remember the order of operations. Order of operations is in what order do we do our arithmetic? So PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. This is gonna be our order of operations, starting at the top and moving to the bottom. So what this tells us is that when we have some kind of expression like the one that we have here, and we have multiple things going on. We have multiplication, we've got division, we've got addition and subtraction. You've maybe got some parentheses and exponents in there. We need to do things in this order. If we do things outside of this order, we're going to get the wrong answer. So this is not an optional thing. This is the only way to get the correct answer. We have to start with parentheses before we do the exponents. We have to do exponents before we do multiplication, etc. One thing to know about PEMDAS is that this order is exact, but multiplication and division can be done at the same time. You can do those two in combination with each other. You can move left to right through your expression and do your multiplication and division at the same time. You can also do your addition and subtraction at the same time. So that's why we've got different colors going on here because we pair together multiplication and division. We pair together addition and subtraction. But other than that, you have to do parentheses, then exponents, then the group of multiplication and division, then the group of addition and subtraction. So PEMDAS is gonna be our guide, and let's go ahead and apply it to this problem where we've got all of these different things going on. So if we start at the top and go right down the order here, we're gonna start with parentheses. So we're gonna do anything inside of our parentheses. So here we find parentheses, and inside them we have four minus two, which we know is going to be two, so we get a two there. Now we're gonna do exponents. We find an exponent here, we have five squared, which we know is 25. Now we're gonna do our multiplication and division. Here you notice we have three times two, which we know is six, that's multiplication there, so we're gonna get six. Over here we have division, four divided by two, which we know is two, so that's gonna become two. And now all we have left is addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and say that we got six as a result of our multiplication, so this is gonna be six plus two, which was the result of our parentheses, minus 25, which was the result of the exponent, plus two, which was the result of our division. Now you can see that we have just addition and subtraction left over. So we can do our addition first and then our subtraction, but remember that addition and subtraction can go together. So we can also go left to right on this addition and subtraction. So let's go one term at a time. We'll get six plus two, that's gonna give us eight. So we'll have eight minus 25 plus two. Here we're gonna have eight minus 25. That's gonna give us a negative 17. So we have negative 17 plus two. Negative 17 plus two is gonna equal negative 15. And so negative 15 is our final answer. What we need to realize is that if we don't use this PEMDAS system, if we don't do our order of operations correctly, and we just go left to right or in some other order that we choose, we're gonna get the wrong answer. So for example, if we just go left to right here, we get three times two, which is six plus four minus two, so we'll say plus four minus two, minus five squared or minus 25, plus four divided by two. Here we'll go left to right again. We'll get six plus four is 10, minus two is eight, minus 25 is a negative 17, plus four is a negative 13. So we get a negative 13 divided by two. And then when we divide by two, we're just left with the fraction negative 13 over two, which we obviously know is the wrong answer because the correct answer is negative 15. So you have to follow PEMDAS every time. Now let's do a second example where we have a fraction. When we're dealing with a fraction, the important thing to remember is that we have to apply PEMDAS to the numerator by itself and then to the denominator by itself. And once we've simplified the numerator and the denominator as completely as possible, then we do the division of the numerator divided by the denominator. So let's go ahead and apply the PEMDAS system to our numerator first. So we're gonna start with parentheses. We see here that we have a five minus two, which is gonna give us a three. So we'll have negative four times three. Then we've got a minus negative eight, so a minus negative eight. And then our next step is exponents, right? So we have two squared, which is four. So we get plus four. Now we're gonna do our multiplication and division. So we have here negative four times three, which is gonna be negative 20. 12. We have essentially a negative one times a negative eight, which is gonna give us a positive eight, so we get plus eight, and then we have plus four. We have no more multiplication and division left, so we can move on to addition and subtraction, and here we can move just left to right. So negative 12 plus eight is a negative four, negative four plus four gives us zero. So our numerator is gonna be equal to zero. 
Looking at our denominator, we'll start with parentheses. There's nothing to simplify inside of parentheses, so we'll move on to exponents. There's no exponents, so now we're on to multiplication and division. Well, in this case for multiplication, we have a negative three multiplied by a positive three, which we know is a negative nine. So we get three minus a negative nine. Now we know that three minus a negative nine is the same as three plus nine, and three plus nine we know is 12. So we know that the denominator is equal to 12. Now that we have that information, we can take our numerator and our denominator and say that we've simplified this fraction to zero over 12. Now we can do the division within our fraction. Zero divided by 12 is zero. So zero is our final answer.